Hello and welcome. Today I'm uh, revisiting the lava tube in the Madison Lake Highlands area in uh, <coughs> Northern California, east of Manchester. I was here a few weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, and made a video here, but I didn't have a light at that time, so uh, some parts of that video were dark and so I figured out I'll go back and go and take some lights and go in that same tunnel. So here is the opening and I brought some lights. So here going inside the hole to climb inside the tube. And at this point, this, this is about uh, the highest um, that the tube is, and at this highest point it's, it's about 7 feet high, so I can walk here comfortably. And you see on the sides, beautiful, the, the um, impact of the lava stream. So before I couldn't see this part, but now you can see that there is a very narrow tunnel that goes deeper. If I can get the lights correctly, you see there. But it's way too narrow to go into, so I didn't even make that attempt. Also you can see beautiful the, the ceiling. I'm not sure if that is like a melted rock or more likely it's just um, from water seeping through and uh, creating deposits on the ceiling. So I'm not going that direction, turning around and exploring further this area of the tube where you can walk comfortably. Now here to the side, on the side right, you can see you can see now a side tube that connected with this larger one and so now with the lights we can look inside and I'm actually actually going to climb inside there that tube is not very high that's only uh, maybe four or five feet high but we'll see how far I can get. And you can see these rocks They're on the bottom and they're pretty sharp so it's not really comfortable to crawl here. And as you can see This gets narrower and narrower and it's not really clear if this is a dead end or if there is a small opening that goes further, but I just, I simply couldn't get through there. So turning around, going back to the main channel. Careful not to bump my head. I'm also trying to show more of the, the structure of the walls, the ceiling here. Because in some parts you can really see how the flow of lava um, created the contours, like here on the right. 
and then on some parts it's like later uh, deposits. So I'm trying to climb out of that uh, side tube. A little bit high up, so but you can manage to get out. In many of these, in these tunnels, you will see layers. Like here also, when I pan up higher, you see this layer. Right, there's a, a cavity above. I have no idea how, what the explanation for that is. But here we go into the part that before in the previous video you couldn't see anything, that was just pure dark. But now with the lights you get a better sense of what's there. And basically a small cave. And again, these, these layers. And then within a short distance you can already see the light coming from the other side. So that's where we'll go to. This is where we came from here. A narrow tunnel. And then we turn. And this is where we're going to. And here it gets lower and lower. So at this point, what shall it be? It's maybe about five feet high. To navigate some big boulders. And here was a cavity. Then again, layers. So now I'm trying to go to the other side there to see how far this leads, if anywhere. And again, just like uh, the first part of the video, you'll see there is too narrow an opening to go through. But most likely it goes deeper. And here, so you can see inside, but here as I pan up, you look at the, uh, the ceiling, those blocks, they are very precariously held together. This is not a safe area to go into, because now it's, it's easy to see how this is able to collapse because there is not really a structure. These are just loose blocks. I mean, over time, I think they just cracked and uh, formed these individual blocks. Because in the winter time, this is cold and covered with snow, so I can figure that the ice water, when it seeps through, it and it finds any crack in the rocks, it will over time uh, create these fractures. And uh, yeah, not too safe to walk under. So going back, looking for the, uh, the exit. Here to the right, above. This 
this is a little bit of a crawl to get out but not not too difficult And then here you see, you will see the road. This is really right next to the road that goes to Madison Lake, the forest road. And I'll show some more of the environment here. So this is the hole that I came out of. Cracks. In the soil, as or not the soil, the rocks as they were pushed up. And then here I'll show you a small natural. Arch, rock arch. Pretty much on top of it now, so show you from the side. There it is. But this originally also was a tube, but this one is completely collapsed. But you can still see on the sides the, the marks of the lava flow. Just a minute ago. If you look at it closely, you will see that origin that uh, long time ago there were actually two flows, and that rock is a the one that's now in the middle again. It was in a way a divider between two tunnels. You can see marks on the left side and on the right side, but it co completely collapsed at the moment. I'll show you here on the left side because there's still see now you can see a little better the marks on that rock. But there yeah I also wanted to show you the how in many places the, 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 rock, the rocks look very organic, how they cool down and there's not a little cave. That one turned out not too deep, but <coughs> I'll show you just a little bit. of these cases there's like a ceiling about a foot thick and then underneath it there is a cavity a cave like here there are supposed to be a few very long caves in this area so um, I plan on going back maybe in a few days to search again. And hopefully 
I can show you more. So for now this is about it. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Thank you.